What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2 M Bison figure. Very excited for this one. I have been loving their Street Fighter line so much lately. They've just been a ton of fun to play around with and I've heard a lot of great things about him and the Doll Sim figure so I am looking forward to seeing what they're like in person. So let's take a look at the packaging real quick. Uh, the packaging is going to be the same as the others, except this time, of course, we got the you know, M. Bison figure along with the accessories you know, that's displayed right here. And then, of course, the art of M. Bison here and then the name. But everything else is you know, the same as I said. But the top does have, of course, a top window. Here is the bottom, as you can see. And then here is the other side. So we got like a description down here. And then you can't even really see the rest of the top, but you know, here's the rest and then turning it around over here. Here's the other side. And then here is the back. So it does show off the figure right there. And then we got, of course, the other characters. And yeah, that is pretty much the packaging right there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, so here's the figure out of the packaging right here. Uh, geez, this figure is incredible, man. Uh, there's some stuff that I was not expecting uh, getting into this figure right here. Um, I gotta say, uh, the articulation is really good on this guy. This guy can really move, but I think my favorite thing about this figure is the cape. So, the cape is actually uh, wired, which is nice. So, you can see that I can actually just move it. You know, it is like a bendy wire. So, you can see I can just put it wherever I want. Even if I just want to have it up, if I just want to like put it up like this, and then like look at that, it can stay. And you know how like sometimes Bison would like cover himself with the entire cape. I don't know if I'll exactly <laughs> try to do that, but you know, say I wanted to just kind of keep it something like this, and you know, like it can still kind of like hold him a little bit, just like that. It'll, you know, it is gonna like go back in place for a little bit, but you can see how like. It can stay on to him or even if you want something like this where I guess the wind is kind of blowing a little bit to the side you can like do that you know so here's a closer look at the figure starting out with the head scope I think the head scope is fine it's like a really like neutral head scope I kind of wish he kind of came with like you know more of like a grinning you know sort of head sculpt instead like him smiling and like you know like being you know looking evil of course as bison usually does you know something like that especially since the other head sculpt is um the same head sculpt with the artwork on the front of the box or you know in the character select screen but uh it's not too bad i mean the eyes and even the hat are painted pretty well uh especially the hat the hat actually has a nice texture to it i don't know if you can really uh, see it that well Let's see if i can try to zoom in there but uh there is like a really nice texture uh, going on here with the red on the hat and even um you know this you know like this emblem here on his hat uh is painted pretty well too uh really like the sculpting going on there um but again uh i think uh you know the head sculpt doesn't look too bad here and of course we have you know the cape that i showed off let me actually show that off real fast but you know, it is just a plain black cape. And then here's uh, the rest of the figure right here. So, you know, the blue line here that's painted. That looks pretty clean along with, you know, the lightning bolt symbol here on his belt. As you can see, like, some wrinkling details here. Uh, I don't know what happened right here, but you can see there's, like, some sort of scuff going on uh, to his gauntlet. As you can see, I don't know what happened right there. Uh, but this one right here is actually fine. Oh, wait, actually, eh. Nope, this one kind of got the scuff too a little bit, but it's not as bad as uh, this one right here. I'm uh, not sure what happened there. And I want to uh, mention that this is actually soft. So this is going to help for articulation with the hips. So if you want to see how that is, and then like this piece too. Uh, but everything else is pretty hard plastic. Um, well, except for, you know, <laughs> uh, the cape, of course. Okay, now jumping into the accessories. So this is going to be the head scope and the interchangeable hands you're going to get once you take the figure out of the packaging. But your other accessories you're going to get here, you do have another interchangeable head scope right here. And this one is, like I said, this is pretty much the same head scope. Uh, you know, well, it kind of represents the head scope we've seen, you know, the artwork of M. Bison 
uh, on the packaging or you know the character select screen it's, it's uh, kind of funny looking to me honestly i'm gonna be honest it just looks so funny looking but there's actually pupils here it's really really small to see but there is like small pupils here with this one uh compared to this one that you can i uh, can't really see at all uh the other accessories you got here uh you do have your interchangeable hands so you have these right here where he's you know kind of like i don't know <laughs> but you have like these uh interchangeable you know hands right here and then you have of course this effect piece right here this is the cycle power so that's cool you can actually put this um you know in his hands you know his fisted hands as so so you just kind of plug that in like that and there you go so that's really cool right there and we get these right here we actually get these two interchangeable uh, plates, uh, you know, for his uh, shoulder pads. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually take uh, the shoulder pads off. So what you do is you just slide this, you know, you see how easy it was. You just slide that up like that. And this is actually connected. So just keep that in mind. But same way with this, you're just kind of sliding this one up like that. And now, boom, you got that off. So now we can actually put the interchangeable ones and these are easy you just kind of just clamp them on as so see it's already on there take this one right here there you go now you have bison uh without the cape and it is on there as you can see you can still move the arms whichever you want so yeah that is really really cool because um remember in street fighter 2 uh he doesn't really fight with the cape on he just kind of use it as like a you know like an entrance like okana hold it like this or so and then he'll just whew, you know just kind of like throw it off and then you know now he's like you know ready to fight of course so that's cool that they did something like this honestly i was not expecting uh that it it's really cool honestly it, it make it it makes me think i'm holding like a wwe uh ultimate edition figure with like the uh, just like just how cool the uh, figure look the, the figure looks aesthetically but also that you get like soft goods and then you can like interchange things and I, I don't know it's just really really fun man i love this figure really all right now let's get into the articulation so the head is on a double ball peg so you can actually get some really nice movement going on there as always so to have bison look up you get that much and you definitely got to have bison look up as you know like that because you know when he does like the what's it called the cycle crusher i believe that's the name of the move um so you know this is it's really really cool that you got that and then uh you know just to look down just using the head um just that much i think that's okay um you know just using the head only and you know of course you have your tilts which is nice too and of course you have your rotation there as well so yeah now for the shoulders hinge to the shoulder i'd say you're going to get just uh just about horizontal that's as much as you get uh, for his shoulder and i wanted to do the articulation with the cape on just so you could see you know how would it how would it be when you articulate the figure but yeah you get that much we do have the butterfly joints and the butterfly joints is actually pretty nice on here uh, you can see like even when i move the shoulder you know the cape is still you know on so that's nice right there and of course you have your bicep swivel your double jointed oops i think i just yep i just popped it off right there i guess i was just uh, you know messing around right there i think i can just kind of pop this on uh back in place actually like you know just like yeah i think i just popped it on uh but yeah you do have your uh bicep swivel uh your double jointed pinless knee or knees <laughs> your double jointed pinless elbows uh you get that much with the bend and then you have your rotation to the wrist along with a horizontal hinge right there like i said it's so cool because uh if you want to do like the cycle crusher with M. Bison, uh, you can still uh, have the arms go all the way up, put his head up, and then look at that. And then having the cape, like how sick is that, man? I'd say you're getting uh, just about here, and then back just about there, and then like to the side, you get that much, and then here to the other side. And you can also just rotate this, just. Eh, not as much but i would say you're really going to be rotating uh this part a little bit yeah there you go like that and then remember this is uh soft too so yeah you got that right there 
Uh, 40 hips. Let's actually see if he can kick out to the side with some perfect splits. And yeah, I'd say that's actually pretty good right there. So Bison can do perfect splits like that. And then uh, just kick in forward. You get this much for Bison to kick forward right there. And then kick in back. I'd say just about here which is actually really good um especially since bison kind of does like you know like those kicks that he usually does you know where he kind of flips at you now we do have an upper thigh cut and then we have double jointed pinless knees and they can bend just like that which is actually nice uh there is no shin cut like you can't really you know get any swivel here with the shin along with any uh, ankle uh, rotation either uh, the ankles can only just go far back about here and then just far forward about there and then you just have your ankle rocker so yeah no shin cut here and there's no um, rotation to the ankle so I thought I would mention that and yeah that is uh, pretty much the articulation for M Bison now even though he doesn't have you know any shin cut or ankle articulation uh, I'm not really having any issues with him like falling flat on his face or anything or like like falling back he's still like standing well for me so that's you know okay for me but I can understand that being like a, a gripe with someone because you know I, I can definitely understand uh, if you were having trouble with that but overall, articulation on this guy, not bad actually. It's really nice. I like the interchangeable, well not interchangeable cape, but I like that you can take the cape off and, you know, just kind of play with it differently. Like maybe you want to buy another M. Bison and have him display with the cape and one without it, you know. So I, I really like this uh, Bison figure. It's really, really cool. And I'm not even really like the biggest Bison, you know, fans like, you know, Ryu and Zangief. They were always my favorites. But I will say this this uh, Bison figure is really cool. I really like this M. Bison figure. And I think you're going to love it. I really think you're going to enjoy this one for sure. Alright, now let's jump into some figure comparisons. So here is the Jada Toys Bison next to the SH Figure Arts M. Bison figure. Uh, so this is cool to see because we actually got, you know, a Street Fighter 2 M. Bison figure next to a Street Fighter 5 M. Bison. You can definitely see the difference here because, you know, in later games, you know how like the characters tend to get taller and, you know, bigger too, really. And you can definitely see the size here. Uh, compared to um, the Jada Toys Bison. So yeah, he's definitely smaller here, which makes sense because, you know, in Street Fighter 2, they, a lot of them were pretty much small. Uh, not like small, small, but they weren't as how they were compared to how they were in like Street Fighter 5, you know. So um, yeah, I think Jada Toys definitely nailed it here. Uh, I like both. Honestly, I think I like both of them their own way. The only thing I didn't like about the SH Figure Arts was just the amount of detail they were missing. Uh, with them like he didn't have the white hair and the line the blue line was supposed to be black and he also didn't have the emblem with his belt and in his hat uh that was probably my biggest issue but you know i do like both bison figures uh so that's just kind of cool to have uh, both of them here and you know two separate games here so i'm going to take this one out and let's actually compare uh bison to you know other jada toys figures so here is Ryu right here and then I'm going to throw in Ken if I can try to get Ryu to stand a little bit so you can see uh, Bison is uh, taller than Ryu Ken since you know he is like just slightly taller um, so yeah this uh, looks pretty nice right here um, so yeah I like that right there and then I'm going to uh, take Ken out and I'll throw in Chun-Li so here is the Jada Toys Chun-Li right here and uh, yeah, Bison is still taller, of course. And then I'll throw in just Fei Long. Just want to throw them all in here without anyone being left out or so. Um, and I think Fei Long and Ryu are like the same height right here. So yeah, they all look uh, pretty nice. Uh, here's the Jada Toys Mega Man figure. So you want to see how that is. So look at that. <laughs> Mega Man can look up to Bison. This is so cool, man. So cool to uh, just have these figures here in general. And then one more that I want to do. I want to just compare them to just a Marvel Legends figure. So here's the... Uh, I actually just got this figure too, actually. But here's the new uh, Marvel Legends uh, Scarlet Spider figure. If I can try to get this guy to stand. And they look like they're about the same height. I don't know if I got him standing perfectly still here. 
Um, they kind of look like they're close to the same height, honestly. All right, so that is going to wrap up this review on the Jada Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2 M Bison figure. Not too bad, man. For 25 bucks, I'm definitely satisfied with a lot of things going on with this figure. I love the articulation and the interchangeable shoulder pads for a different look. And I also think the sculpt on this guy looks pretty great. So if you really love M. Bison or is just a huge Street Fighter fan in general, I highly recommend picking him up. I think you'll actually have a blast with this one. If you want to know where I was able to get mine, I picked this up at Target. But let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Until then, take care my friends.